Because at this time I already got money I'm, right. I'm loaded I'm just trying to find my I'm trying to find my love for music again yeah. I'm trying to put my heart back in Yes sir man Y'all already know what's going on Another great episode of How It Goes Down Podcast With that boy A. Pile. I always got to add Pile Because he's a Pile <laughs> That's my boy For sure that You already know what I'm saying But yeah. look man We got a special guest Real special guest man I'll talk about Atlanta legend For sure Been doing for this sure. thing For a long long time you know what I'm saying? From the east side, man. Yes, Straight out of McNair High School, yes, man. Mr. That's right, too, Mr. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you feel me? My yeah. dog, the one and only man, Rich Homie Corn in the mother sucking building. That right, too. Come on, man. That right, too. Rich yeah. Homie, baby. Yes. Oh, yeah, I told you the mic sound so clear, man. I thought you were going to start rap. You want to rap? Before nah, nah. we even start, you can go ahead and rap. You ain't got to wait. You can rap right now. You know, we're going to wait later on. Later on. Okay, baby. baby. <laughs> later on, man. But, man, what's been going on, man? How you been feeling, man? You know man. what I'm saying? You know, you know, a lot of stuff been shifting. A lot of stuff For been sure. growing. Yeah, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yeah, You've been watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was able to experience some shows. Oh, you know man. What I'm That's why I say, like, it's different doing like a podcast with you because like you know we don't kick it outside of the instagram outside of not even like we don't even put up pictures but we don't kick it more than one time and it'd be love every time most definitely so uh man i feel good man you yeah. know what i'm saying mentally uh physically mm -hmm. spiritually most you definitely. know what i mean i feel amazing most you know definitely. what i mean of course to be doing this here with you you nah, feel me no nah, most definitely man like For i sure say that. bro you a legend, man. I appreciate you know that. Bro. I, I used to listen. I still listen to you, man, yeah. from the beginning. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, for anybody out there that don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't know how you started. Uh -huh. Where you from? You know what I'm saying? Give some people background about yourself, man. Oh, man. Yeah, we gonna get to the for good sure, stuff. For sure that. If but, you don't you know, know uh, Rich Homie Corn from East Atlanta, yeah. uh, oldest of three. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, my mother and my dad wasn't together, but yeah. I got a strong relationship with my dad. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Growing up, it was like any other kid in Atlanta, man. Mm -hmm. uh, sports and the radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sports and the radio. Uh, I played football, baseball, and basketball at first. You know, young, you think you're going to be an athlete. Yeah, yeah. Until you start getting older. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> nah. uh, as I started transitioning in high school, you know, I, start, I would say I started smelling myself. Mm -hmm. But I had love music. Forever though, like Kilo Ali in Atlanta, like come on, man. Ooh, ooh ah, yeah. ah, like, ah, ah, uh, look. Some of y'all don't lost y'all mind. Yeah, yeah, like that was that was just hard at the time. Like the 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 tone he had, the melodizing, uh, the melodic stuff he was doing. Mm -hmm. I felt like he stood out so much. So that uh, had a big impact on uh, me falling in love with music. Third grade, I played the trumpet. Mm -hmm. You know, I played the Bach. If you remember, my dad bought it for me. But by the time I got to uh, middle school, I felt like uh, band was a little bit, uh, I felt like it was nerdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, felt yeah. like it was nerdy. So I was like, nah, I ain't finna be out here with no band on the field. I want to be with the girls in the stand. That's how my mind thought. And it's crazy. Before you go first, yeah, your, uh, your boy might take. Oh, yeah, drum major. Like, drum you major. So, you know, he was, uh, he oh, nah, was one of yeah, them he, guys. He was <laughs> in it. And what's crazy is, Monte was at the same high school where he went to the same high school as I. Uh, so... You know what I'm saying? There's pictures at the school of him, you know what I'm saying, in that uniform, mm -hmm. you feel me, with the hat on, you know what I mean? But uh, by the time I got to high school, sports, I really, I wasn't really focused on that anymore mm -hmm. because I started, I started transitioning into music so much. Like, I was in love with it, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I had never been in a real studio, though. Mm -hmm. So I say about 11th grade, I got in a real studio. I want to shout out Big Time, Mr. Uh, yeah, Tom from yeah. the South Side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was just big. Put me in the first studio, my first studio, and it was amazing. But... It's like I had to work when I first got in there. They didn't let me get in the studio. I just sit around, peak game, learn how to record. Mm -hmm. So at this time, by high school, uh, I asked for a, a recording. It's like a little recording kit, this little studio to put together a post, a car, anything for my mom. Yeah. She bought me the Pro Tools, a computer, a little mic, sell preamp. You know what I'm saying? No, Monte got me the preamp. I okay. never hooked it up. Yeah. Never, because I didn't know how to work that. I didn't know how to, you know what I mean? That wasn't my forte. Mm -hmm. But I had been going to the studio, watching, knowing what buttons to hit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning the shortcuts to record. But as I'm doing this, I'm growing confidence in myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So by 12th grade, I stopped playing baseball. In my mind, I'm a full out fledged rapper. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And, uh, around that time, I'm doing open mics. Yeah. Uh, open mics are big in Atlanta at this time. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm out of school. Um, you know what I mean? I ain't really. Uh, I got a job, mm -hmm. 
But to me, I don't feel like, you know, job, I can't just see myself just working. Yeah. You feel me? This is my second job. I can't just see myself working. I'm at the airport. Yeah. And it just didn't feel right. Fact. It just didn't feel right. Fact. Because you, could you, like I said, you, you played baseball. For sure. And For you sure. had a scholarship to Fort, or yeah, to Fort, Fort Valley. Valley. The Fort Valley. So you was yeah, really man. that deal yeah, in I, baseball. I, I was good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was good. But, like, as I got older, I saw, like, as I'm getting older watching TV, I'm just saying, like, it ain't that many black people on the MLB. And mm-hmm. it's how my mind thinking. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to have to be 5'5". Five, five. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, I'm not trying to play like no, uh, what, triple A, double A. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. Right what that, uh, Fort Valley was like uh, uh, D1. That, that was the, um, D2. No, that was D2. Yeah, that was D2. 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 But it was, it was cool, but that ain't just, that, that wasn't me. Yeah, that ain't what I want to do. It. My heart went in it. Yeah. I was good at it, but my heart went there. Yeah. You feel me? So, <clears throat> and I didn't want to play baseball and then uh, have regrets of not wanting to rap because that's yeah. really what I want to do. Fact. You feel me? So, I started putting a lot of my time in there. I started writing more. Um, at that time, like LimeWire and Basha, mm-hmm. hot. So, I'm just burning instrumental CDs like every day. Yeah. You feel me? I'm going to azlyrics.com to see how Lil Wayne word his words. Yeah. To see how T.I. delivery is. Mm-hmm. And I just started trying to put all that together and create myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. And you, hey, you did it, man. You know, and you know, growing up, like the experience from Mac High School. Cause you know, mm-hmm. I went to City Girl High School, and that's like a ride side. Yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's rivalry. the rivalry, yeah. man. So you never like got caught up in that negative stuff. Was it people like around you? Of course, you was a rapper, uh-huh. but you know, you hang around the hood niggas and shit like For that. Sure you know For what I'm sure saying? That. Was some guys that. Probably didn't believe in your dream, and, and it was like, you know, hey, corn. I don't think you gonna, you know, I don't think you gonna make it in rap. I don't think you should do that. Should you come over here and, and rock with us? You know what I'm saying? What's some guys that were trying to pull you away from your dream? I would definitely say that's everywhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, they were definitely trying to do it because you got to think at that time it was, uh, I think, Black Mar versus the Fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yeah, that, that was, was crazy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that's all it was in that era. Yeah. But me, man, I was so headstrong when I was young. Like. Mm. It couldn't deteriorate me or get my mind out trapped from what I really want to do. Fact. And that was be a leader. Mm-hmm. Whether it was rapping or playing sports. Mm-hmm. Like, well, if I was locked in, I was locked in. But in high school, really, like, nobody knew I rapped. Mm-hmm. That was the thing. So it wasn't like I was at school rapping every day in the hallway. Right? Nah, it was something I kept to myself because, yeah. like, I was shy. Like mm-hmm. I say, but the more I got in there and started recording myself, my confidence grew. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So once my confidence grew, now I'm doing open mics and stuff. Mm-hmm. We're going down in Auburn Ave. Uh, I think it was called Black Lion at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just it was just different. So, so so did you have a team then when you first like in the beginning stage, or you were just doing everything on your own? You were uh, just going to see these open mics by yourself. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> of course, like I've always had a team. Like Monte, I've been there. My brother been has always been there. Mm-hmm. But at this time, like they got jobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? So it's different. It's more like a it's really a dream. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not thinking this could come true. Mm-hmm. I'm not never thinking like I'm gonna be the rich on the corner. I'm, mm-hmm. not, I'm never thinking that. that. You feel me? Yeah. But the time. The hours, the work, and the effort I put in, yeah. it just started to pay off. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I would sleep in the studio mm. every day. Like, my mama, hey, boy, you got to get a job. This ain't going to work. So, yeah, okay, that's perfect. So, with family, uh-huh. how was that? Because, you, uh-huh. pa- you know, some parents, they don't they don't see that vision that you see. For sure. You know, I, I, what, did, you know was mom, was dad, was they like, nah, you ain't finna make it. Did they believe in it first? Or it, it took some time for them to see you on TV, to see you selling out shows, to see you doing all this stuff. For them to be like, oh, you know what, my baby is... My baby doing it out there. I you was, know, who was who was rich homie corn? Yeah. Who was he ain't he ain't rich yet. He ain't paid no bills <laughs> over here yet. <laughs> nah, I <laughs> would <laughs> definitely say like uh well I got it hard because like it hadn't been done in our family. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's of course like, you know, music back then, it was different. So of course my mama she telling me to uh what well, corn on wants to do is you gonna have to get a job. But mm-hmm. at the same time, she's buying me a quick with Equipment to help me because she know I love this. Mm. Feel me? At first, my dad didn't understand at all. Like I didn't, even, I didn't even know my know my dad listened to rap. Wow. You know, like he didn't listen to number like R and B. So I was like, I wasn't even trying to let him hear my song. Like this ain't even your lead part. I know you ain't gonna be <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I guess like once they saw my dedication in it and like how committed I was when I had never made a dime, you know, it it'll, it'll make you like, let me just try to get in his world. Let me mm. just try to understand him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and like you say, like once I start doing shows, you feel me? Like I had it on my chest to prove them wrong as well. Fact, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. So, damn. So, like you know, you know that you know, cause I be trying to be a rapper sometimes, but you know I play with it. Oh, For sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I know y'all take that serious, man. But like, when was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get on there. Nah, nigga, nah, nigga, nah, nigga, nah, nigga. You know, you know, play with it. But when was that moment, man? You know, 
like have you ever been a moment like you say you you be in the studio mm -hmm. uh that moment or you recording that song you listen to yourself what was that first song you know when was that moment you you was like you know what okay this this is it like oh i'm really i'm really him i'm i'm really oh this finna be a hit or have you ever called out your hits like have you ever said oh no nah, this the one right here before it even came out like what was that moment that sparked everything in your mind that to, to, to say that oh yeah Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm that guy. This, I'm really finna be this this big dog in, uh, in the industry because you know you're a big dog in the industry. Yeah. Like, what was that moment? Was it a show? Was it you in the studio? Was it your people around you? You know, I would definitely say, man, it was probably when I was in jail. You feel me? me now we go to what? Nine months. Fifteen. Well, it was fifteen months. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so me in jail, man, in my first four months in there, man, I'm cold turkey, not rapping at all. Mm -hmm. But it was this dude came in there, man. His name was Tomahawk. And I remember like a vivid dream. His name was Tomahawk. Tomahawk, you sound like a, a, a skater, a, a skateboarder. If it, he, was, he was so Atlanta. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. He was so Atlanta. Yeah. Tomahawk, because it came from the Braves. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. He ended up rapping one day, beating on the table, and he rapping, and he going hard. And he got all these dudes like turned up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dog, shout it rapping. I'm like, but I don't think he harder than me. That's what I'm telling him. Just the competitiveness in myself mm -hmm. and me telling me, like, he hard, but he ain't harder than you. Mm -hmm. So that same night, man, I go to my room. You know what I'm saying? I'm beating on, I'm beating on my chest low. I'm not even beating on the desk because I don't want my bump mate to hit. Yeah. But I'm right. So the next day, he come back out there rapping again. I start rapping. And like the the response I got from the dorm, they was like, Southside, we didn't even know you can rap. I'm like, look, yeah. now y'all know I can rap. Stop calling me Southside. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was staying on the south side at the moment, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't like the name. So uh, they, they called me Queasy Rich enough. And I say that was my moment. I knew I was that dude. And it didn't come at the fourth month as as time grew, man, to see, to have to have a whole dorm, like supportive, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, these dudes, like, you know, some of the, the pettiest and the worst crimes in the world. Mm -hmm. But for them to like, the way they reacted to my music and the confidence they helped me gain in them, man. So by the time I came home, I didn't feel like nothing could stop me. Nothing. Yeah. I didn't like. It wasn't. It wasn't nothing. I wasn't willing to do. Uh, opposed without like me going outside of my of my character. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? To to get what I got. Yeah. I wanted it that bad. And yeah. it wasn't that, couldn't nothing stop me though. Like I was just so focused. Bro. It was really like ton of vision. Mm -hmm. Like literally. So a year and three months. Yeah. A year and three months. Outside of the rapping, being in there. Uh, for, for what, what, what did you go in for? Uh, burglary. Tape. Burglary. Yeah, burglary. You st getting still in copper? Nah, it was TVs at the time. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that. Hey, nigga, you still cop. My cousin still copper like a motherfucker. But yeah, TVs and back then TVs and video oh, Xboxes yeah, and all know, that. That it was, was a TV because you know it wasn't. Flat streams had just came out of that. And time. they was snatching them motherfuckers all the time. Out the wall, man. Yeah. Straight up out the wall. But yeah, 15 months, man. But I would say, bro. Outside of rapping, how was that experience? Like, you know what I'm saying? You you, you giving advice to uh, to the young, you know, the young people that ain't ever been to jail, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they can't, a lot of people can't do 15 months. A lot of people can't do a month. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real so talk. what what can you tell a person that they think they really bought their life because they making a decision because they really trying to impress a female you know, they think it, you know, yeah, they see all sure. this shit. What's some advice that you can give a, a a young brother out there that's doing something that they ain't even really grown up on that level? They just doing what they see. For sure. I would definitely tell you, um, think about your decisions before you make them. Because, like, to have your freedom taken from you, you don't really appreciate it until you're locked up. Like, um, for instance, uh, being able to, like, you know, just get out your bed and go walk to a glass of water. Like, mm. It's taken from you. Just think about that. Like you can go get a water like anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just like to think about it. You can't even go get no water. Or you can just be drinking out the faucet of your sink. Think mm. about that. And you gotta do do it right there with your yeah. cellmate. Oh yeah. Put your little you put your <laughs> sheet up. You know what I'm saying? It's stank too, don't it? I can imagine it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He taking the shit. Come on, man. You could have waited to six at least. Yeah, yeah but I'm just yeah. You could have waited three more hours. I don't want to smell this shit. I for sure that. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I first got in there, bro, it might have took me like a whole two weeks to shit. Bro. What floor? What floor you on? I was on five Southwest. Five, so fifth. Okay, that was yeah. up. That's up there. Yeah. That was damn near the murders. Nah, murders like well, seven. But like in the cab, they were so overpacked, man. You might be in a cell with a murder on the third floor. Yeah, because they so overpacked. But that was well, they still overpacked now. 
You know what I'm saying? But like I said, yeah, it took me almost two weeks to shit in there, boy. I was so, you know, I had to get comfortable. Damn, so when you finally shit it, that shit was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shit me. If I got shit, I'm going to shit on the first day. Sure, I'm shit soon as I get in there because I'm already nervous. But you got to think, in my mind, I'm thinking I'm going home. I'm just showing uh, this shit for the house. In my mind, I'm saving this shit for the house. Yeah. So you had to go to court to get your time before you, you know, all that. Cause you, but I guess you didn't have no money. Nah, 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 exactly. So it was more so like I fought a case for fifteen months. I didn't plea out no nothing. So oh, I, I was okay, never sentenced okay. uh, fifteen months. Okay. I just fought the case for wow. fifteen months. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. in my mind, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going home to shit tomorrow. And Every day you thought it, you was going home. Boo -boo. Just bad up. Man, that shit was <laughs> <laughs> little shitty situation. Man. <laughs> <laughs> little shitty situation, man. That's how. Damn, that's what's up, man. So you did that time, came home, and you was like, okay, yeah, I'm about to take this serious. Yeah, I, I'm about to take this serious, but I need an investor because I'm broke as hell. I got to think like an investor. You know what I'm saying? I'm a CEO of the game. Yeah. Nigga, hate that I'm successful, but myself, I made a name. Oh, God. Hey, nigga, I hey. know your shit, For nigga. Sure, See, man. a lot of niggas don't know your shit. You feel <laughs> Hey, I and I finally that. realized hey, nah, these niggas that want to see me down. Yeah, okay, you on, I'm sorry. Nah, you on stage with me singing with, with hey. me, like side by side. You know, sometimes I just step back and let you do you, man. Yeah. Like, you start hitting the dance and everything. Yeah. Like, nobody turned, man. I fuck with you, yeah. Sure, and I appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I definitely appreciate nah, hey, it. Like I said, bro, you been killing it, man. So that first show, bro, like, you know, when it really hit, you know what I'm saying? What, what, that, that first, what was that first song that they really... Took it out of here. Was it? Was it that walk? Was it, was uh, it, nah, I'm, I'm sure it was before that. But. Yeah, I would definitely say. Um, um, I would say difference was the first song different. that we played, and I'm not. I'm just getting it up to the. Uh, and I'm we're gonna try to uh, pick which one because, like, you asked me earlier, have I ever picked one of on my songs? The answer is no. Yeah. So I'm gonna get up to that. So difference was the first single that we all agreed upon as po opposed to a team. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like difference. I can't say I didn't like it because of my song, but it wasn't one of my favorites, put it like that. Um, but I would definitely say uh, Type Away. Type, type Away was the okay. one. That you know what I'm Yeah, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? To me, it was just another good song. And of course, like we had did uh, things before that, but Type Away, I would say, definitely got me known nationally. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because we was already on the road. You feel me? I felt like by the time Type Away came out, man. I might have been five hundred thousand up then, and that was then. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So it was like that just took me me in that status. Yeah, you feel me? So so it was like a process uh, when it came to like you know different checks for different shows. Like when you got that first check that you ain't never got before. Yeah. Like I don't know how much it was. What what twenty five hundred, five thousand, ten thousand? Yeah. You know what was <laughs> that, what was that first check like? You know what I'm saying and. What you said, I'm a, you know, what was that first? Trip? My first back end, the biggest one I got might have been, was it Crucial or Core? It was Crucial, man. 3,500, bro. Yeah. They, not, they know what to do, man. We're going straight to the mall. You yeah. feel me? Because it yeah. went about, I didn't know nothing about saving at that time, man. At that time, I'm 20, I'm 22, 23. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about saving. You know, I'm from Atlanta. I mm -hmm. need to be fresh. More Make sure my car clean. More death. And I need something nice beside me. More death. So, you know, that's what it was about. That thirty five hundred felt like three hundred thousand. More than <laughs> like that feeling, like I can get a deposit tomorrow, bro, for a million dollars. I it won't have that same feelings that thirty five hundred would, would, would do. You know nah, what I'm saying? Fact, cause I remember I, I was working at Smoothie King at the time, right? Yeah. I, when I was first coming up, and I got a nine hundred dollar check from YouTube. I said, "Niggas, oh, <laughs> for sure, for sure." <laughs> I what ain't year doing was this? Shit out. What year was this? Uh, with, uh the year I, uh, I graduated from college, two thousand fifteen. So two thousand sixteen. Around that time, I got a nine hundred dollar check, but yeah. I said, "Boy, I ain't boy, what?" <laughs> so it took me two weeks to get a two hundred dollar check for making smoothies. I'd sweat just like a slave in there. Listen, I can I understand. I seen that nine hundred dollar check from YouTube, and boy, I ain't I said, even doing number being me. Man, I'm finna, boy, Come I'm finna on. run this nine hundred dollar up every month. <laughs> My life has changed. I I'm dab. good. <laughs> But no, nah, man, thirty five hundred dollars, but I can only imagine how that was, man. Bad. You got a thing. It's ten years ago. Yeah, it's ten been, so. years ago. So now I'm really. I had never, but like I think the the art in it or the thing I love about it is, I got thirty five hundred to do something I love doing. Facts. So that's different when I can go do a back end or we can, I can go do a weekend, make a hundred thousand. But bro, I haven't even did nothing. I'm not. Well, I'm sweating because of what I'm doing, but mm -hmm. this ain't no sweat, man. 
I'm doing this and I love doing it. It's your purpose, man. Come on. Yeah, God gave me that gift for sure. You feel me? So it comes to a time when it don't even it become it's not even about the money no more. Mm-hmm. It's just about the, you know, it's about what I love doing, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to do it. So when you got that first, first big, big check, yeah. What was the first things you bought? The first thing I bought on the big check, man, it might have been oh, I remember. Uh well, when I first got the big check, and my first big check came from like uh my the my nigga royalty. Okay. You feel me? Like my back ends and like cause I had never just like, you know, I didn't know I knew about royalties, but I was so geeked up and my mind was so drawn on these back ends because at the time when my nigga came out, we ain't really had like a radio radio song. Like that was just this was gonna go go. Like some type of way was that. Mm-hmm. My, my nigga took off and it made some type of way take off as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I got that first check, bro, like I had never just got no check with like two hundred thousand on it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. At one time, two hundred thousand. At one time, two hundred thousand, bro. And this you got to think, this like nine years ago, and now I'm two hundred thousand, like, bro. Good God Almighty! Yeah, I'm some like I'm some. I probably one. did in like ten minutes. Like we ain't take no time to do my nigga. So that just it, it was a gift and a curse because it messed my mind up. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because now like I felt like <clears throat> once I started getting those big checks. My substance on my music wasn't that strong because uh, I started looking at it like, man, they paying me on some shit I'm doing. I can do it in my sleep. Mm. So now I'm going in there like, I don't have to give it my all. They're going to give me 200 on some shit I just freestyle and don't care about. Mm. So I would definitely say, like, it messed me up, bro. Really? They messed me up. So, you, so, so okay, so the money, you think the money kind of clouded you a little bit. You felt like you ain't have to go as hard as you used to go, you know? Yeah, I would definitely say the money clouded me, but it was more so on, I felt I was getting overpaid for doing little work. So if I'm getting overpaid for doing little work, if I do some, if I do something I don't really care about, oh, they might just pay me crazy. And it was the total opposite. Mm. You feel me? So, so did you feel like uh, you, that you wasn't humble? No more after because you was getting these big bucks. Did you feel like, oh, I'm, oh, this, this cakewalk. I ain't got, man, I got these folks in the headlock. Yeah, I wouldn't even say it was more so I lost my humbleness. The passion wasn't there. Mm. The passion, like the money clouded my passion. So you do, so you really feel like when a person, I, I, I mean, it, it happens, but do you really feel like a, when a person get a lot of money, they, 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 the hunger go away? Uh, of course. Of course, like that same hunger I just I pointed out earlier, me getting out of me getting out of jail with me being so hungry. I try to reiterate that feeling, but I can't because I've evolved so much as a human being. I'm not even that same person I was ten years ago. Like the same stuff that got me upset then don't get me upset now. So, so how do you keep that hunger when you're rich? Looking at them kids' eyes every day, mm. you feel me? And knowing like me, I'm probably I'm one of them stern pops where. I don't even want them to tell nobody who their daddy is. Because mm. it's more like I want you to be able to respect it, respect the dollar enough to not know it doesn't grow on trees. And like you got to work too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we're going to put you, of course, we're going to put our kids in the best situations. But it's more so what they can learn opposed to what we can give them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. just, just that, man. Because you, you had a 14 year old uh, boy walking here. Yeah, for sure. I thought he wanted uh, your, your goons. Uh, yeah. I didn't know. I seen him with the chain on. I did not know that was your son. I just sure. got a whole goddamn deep talk on him. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was getting busy a little early, man. And you got four kids. Yeah, four, I got four little boys, man. Four little boys. Yeah, How man. is they experience when they see their daddy being this mega star? Like, you know, are they excited? Are they happy? Or like, do they get treated differently at school? You know, do they go to private school? Uh, or you want them separated? You know, what, what, how is that, you know, being a father in, in this world, man? And sure. you being who you are. Yeah. Um, well, at first, when I first took off, you got to understand they were younger. So now with, uh, with my oldest being 14, my youngest being one, <laughs> it's different. Because it, I'm not going to say it put pressure on me, but it give myself new goals. Cause you gotta think, ten years ago, my oldest son, it was he was four. Yeah. So when I a lot of my when I was popping, popping, he don't really remember. But to bring it up to date, I would say, I don't, sometimes I don't think they understand. Oh no, they they'll see me on the Instagram or something go viral. Mm-hmm. They calling every ten minutes, Dad. Yeah. You woo, woo. <laughs> and more, with, with them understanding, I be mindful of what I show them. I'm mindful if I'm in, uh, if I'm out in public with them. 
Because mm-hmm. I don't be wanting them to see nobody put me on the pedestal and think they're going to live any different. So I try to keep them as regular as possible. That's why I don't post them or nothing, man, because I don't want to bring none of my problems and put situations on them. That's you right. feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I try to let them be kids, man. Yeah, yeah. They ain't you got nothing to do. They don't yeah, got yeah. nothing to do with Rich Homie Corn. Exactly. They don't even, I try not to even show them that side. I respect that. But they're, they're old enough to go and search me. So like I say, I'm mindful of what I do knowing that they looking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're able to understand. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to them like I would talk to my buddy, but at the same time still being their daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes I get them confused or sometimes I have to remind myself you have to balance it. Sometimes mm-hmm. I can feel myself being a little too over aggressive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, with that, you know, because, you know, I'm a father, too. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you been on the road all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever have time to really, you know what I'm saying, be there for your kid? Because, yeah, I know how that road life yeah, you get, for man. Sure, you, for you sure be maybe two, three weeks you don't come home. Oh, for sure. You got to sure. talk to them through the FaceTime. Yeah. You know, how is that? You know what I'm saying? Because um, yeah, I be feeling like, damn, I ain't seen my boy in goddamn three weeks. You I, know like, I mean? it was hard at first. I'm not going to lie. It was hard at first. But you got to think this. My 10th anniversary, what, my t- September? Yeah, September. So, at first it was hard, mm-hmm. but I know with them getting older, they understand the sacrifice that I'm making is only for That's them. That's right. Yeah. It's I, everything I'm doing. Like I've got to the point; it's not even for me no more. Mm-hmm. It's for my team and them boys, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like we make the type of money, bro. Some people want to see in their life, man. And mm-hmm. I don't never look over that type of blessing or take yeah, yeah. it for granted. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. And, you know? I see, I be seeing you with your son a lot, man. Yeah. That's, that's dope, though, bro. You know I come saying? home, and I be like, damn, he done grew. God damn, he, sure. he got a mustache. Damn, he <laughs> he got a hairline now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. You know, it, it, it just be little stuff, man. For sure that. You know, uh, but you know, fast forward, you know, coming to the labels, you with T.I.G. at first. Yes, sir. T.I.G. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you, game. Thank it's a game. Thank it's a game. You know what I'm saying? So how was yeah. that? Uh, it's a lot of different artists that's over there. Though, oh, yeah, for sure game. that. Uh, uh, man, I love T.I.G., man. Everything about him, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it was a... Uh, man, I don't feel no ill, way, no Ill feelings or no type of way about Fly. And, um, I love everything they got going on over mm-hmm. there. It just ain't work out for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because something happened, right? Uh, yeah, but we ended up doing... Uh, we had to end up going to court. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, me, man, just want my want, wanting what's right and what wanting was uh rightfully due to me and mm-hmm. what and wanting you to abide by what we signed on the paper. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Just one of those, man. You know what I'm saying? And not to uh even linger on it, you know what I mean? Because it's bittersweet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bittersweet feeling, that's just being real, man. You gotta think. My first everything was with T I G. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So your first plaque, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Your first million. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I'm more emotionally attached to TIG than I probably am financially. And that says a lot because it was my first everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm a loyal dude, like, to the core. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? You feel me? Like, I wish Fly nothing but the best and stuff, man. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Then I've grown so much from that. You Mm -hmm. feel me? But like I say, bro, I was so emotionally attached. Like I'm saying, with me coming in, sign with Fly when I'm 22. Mm -hmm. like Like, I was grown, but... I had never signed to nobody. Yeah, Lucci you know over there. Yep, yeah, Lucci uh, with that uh, had uh, Trinidad at the uh-huh. time. Um, had Jacquees at the moment too. Yeah. So, but I hey, let's say this: I was the first artist signed to TIG. Most definitely, you you popped it out. I was the first Come artist on, signed to TIG. Come on, he popped it out. Anybody out there? You if you hear ever hear, thank you the game. You heard it on his track yeah, first. For sure. You ain't hear nowhere else. It was his track you know first. Man. Yeah, man. And but like at the same time, like. I love what Flatum has did over there. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's inspiring as well. It still motivate, it still motivate me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Um, I don't like salute Fly at all for giving me the opportunity as well. Mm-hmm. For me, he could have left me where I was at. So I, I'm still appreciative. Mm-hmm. Appreciative. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? I thank him. So mm-hmm. thank you for that, Fly. Nah, you did your thing, Fly. Yeah. Hey, right. you know, and then I'm guessing after that, uh, he was with Bird. Um, was, Bird was Bird the next uh you didn't sign a bird. Y'all just did a, a deal. Was it like a partnership or? It was just uh, what we did with Bird was more so on just like a collaborative project, mm-hmm. being around each other, uh, being in the studio every day, probably for like three months, man. Booked the studio for three months and just recording a lot of music. Like we never did any paperwork um, oh, okay. together to answer the question. Yeah, it was just on the agreement, man. Let's drop something together and let's just see what it does. 
You feel me? You got to think at that time we did that. Nobody wasn't even really dropping uh, collaborative projects. Uh-huh. You feel me? So um, I think what we had did was a culture shift. Uh-huh. Cause after we start doing, it, you start seeing everybody do uh, collaborative projects. That, that, that Mick Marie is like one of my top on every rich game. Oh that man, Mick Marie, she got a pretty pussy color pick because a nigga fell in love with it. Oh, on, I, you I know, know you know I, him better than me, man. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I be on stage forgetting sometimes, and that's crazy. Nah, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, hey, cool. You came out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, bro. I, I appreciate that for real, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. But yeah, it was more of a collective, you know. Just come together. And like I say, uh, I don't have nothing bad to say about Bird neither because, like, you know how everybody say, oh, Bird, don't be paying. I know I had my paperwork scraped. Yeah. So I knew I was going to get paid once it's come out anyway. Yeah. And at that time, the game was, uh, it was switching up to uh, to streaming mm-hmm. because before that, it was just sales. So, because what, what year was which game? 15. Yeah, uh, 15. So at that time, the game was changing. So, like, you know what I mean? I was mm-hmm. getting paid. I mean, we were doing shows, and I got all my money every show we did together. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, Bird was like, Bird just showed me, like, took flex into another level, like, really number one stunner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I had never saw, like, the way Shotta was popping it. I had never saw it pop like that. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, like, you go over there, everything Fendi, furniture. I'm talking from the rug, man, from the couch. I'm like, go wash your face on the Fendi, Fendi ray. I'm like, bro, I ain't even know Fendi made stuff for the house. You feel me? It's like in 14, 15, you know what I mean? He really rich. Showing you how showing me how to move as far as with security. Yeah. So it's like I'm learning as I'm growing too though. Yeah. I'm learning, okay, I gotta get my security tight. Like Shout, he ain't playing. Yeah. Yeah, Shout move like the president. For real. You know what I mean? Nah, for real. Like and like just his flex, just a whole different level, man. I'm trying to think, what's a good restaurant down here? Everybody be eating at. Okay, let's just say we cheetah for a course. Cheetah. Okay. We go to the cheetah. Yeah. And I'm just giving an example. It's something in New York. They got a big spot. They got like some Chinese food. I forgot what it's called. But Bird had the man cooking at his house, bro. Dang. Like what we would order at the Cheetah, we could just order it from the house, oh, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he different. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You yeah. Know what I mean? But it's like the same taste from the Cheetah. Listen, it's, 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 in, the it's in the house. Wow. You, know, yeah. you know, I'm going in. You know, I'm going sneaking for you, like nephew. You know, you ain't got to sneak them plates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, sneaking plates, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nah, man. It just showed me how to move, you know what I'm saying? Make sure your shit up tight. And longevity. That might have been the biggest thing I learned from Bird. Like, he's still popping it. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. So, like, those moments in the studio, man, like, being in there with Bird, man. Like, well, did he want to get on the songs? Or he, uh, or y'all was like, you know, get on. Or he was like, nah, I mean, he put my little spin on it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Yeah. You know, we think about Burrow, of course we think about cash, money, sure bling, that, bling, yeah. you know, watching them as we come up. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't ever like, damn, I'm in the studio with fucking Burr, man. Of course, man. And that might I think it was after my birthday. We flew down to Miami and I had just we did a show, but I had just fell out for the walkthrough video. Mm-hmm. And um I wasn't even supposed to be performing. But I think man, we might have been getting a 40 that night. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I was going on that stage. But mm-hmm. my face all bruised. So at the time I had my girl to put makeup on me, put some glasses on. And I and I kid you not, the first night Bird came out, he and I like, nephew, I love what you're doing. We go to the studio from there. And I think that's when my awe moment came. Like, but I'm in the studio with Bird. Guess what song he played me the first day I get in the studio with Bird? What that? Lifestyle. Mm. Lifestyle. I remember like it was yesterday. Nephew, I think that thing will sound good with you on it. Ooh. You know how he baked me in? And, ooh. and like, I'm like, oh, yeah. And it was just after that, man, Bird came to Atlanta. Yeah. I think after we got in the studio, Bird came to Atlanta for like six months, bro. I swear to God, Bird was here for like six months, bro. He rocking with it. He rocking with it hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he rocking with it hard. And it was, like I said, it was a fun, it was, man, that was a, such a fun time in my life, bro. And like I said, I just learned so much, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like that was one of those moments. Like I probably won't feel again. Yeah. Cause you evolve as a person. Fact. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And you say. And you, it's bird, man. I don't not to cut you. And it's bird, like, bro. You know how many times I legend. watch ball and that's, block that's, it. That's, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like <laughs> when I, I was wearing the bandanas, the yeah. uh, the camouflage bandanas. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, so they, they, like, they 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 transcends for sure. Yeah, for sure that. Yeah. But you say you you spoke on your your face being bruised. Mm-hmm. What was what was why your face was bruised? Man. We shooting a walkthrough video at Centennial. Oh, Grant Park. Yeah, I probably still got a concussion. I'm still concussed. <laughs> <laughs> P1. P1. 
Piedmont. Yeah, we at Piedmont, man. And at this time, man, I'm hot. I'm hot as a firecracker, man. Yeah. I'm talking about hot as a firecracker. And I'm doing so many shows, man. I think we're doing four to five shows a week. And at this time, bro, I'm so exhausted. I'm so dehydrated is mm -hmm. the word the doctor gave me. Mm -hmm. So dehydrated with shoe. I just remember waking up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm like, I told my brother, Dre, take a picture of my face. I want to see my face. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, bro, I don't want to see your face. Mm. Let me see it. And when I saw it, like see like my I could see my white meat on my yeah. bone from my from my Dang. eye. Yeah. And I was like, dang, what the girls gonna say, bro? I got a show. <laughs> I got a show next week. I'm in my mind, I'm like, man, I make a hundred next week. What we gonna do? I cannot go out there like this. You can see his skull. Man, I had never used the aloe with the aloe vera plant. I had never used the aloe vera plant in my life, boy. It's real. Oh, grandma said it's that. It's real. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut it open. I just had the little Simon stuff. Yeah, wipe, wiping yeah. it down every day. Yeah. Had to get, I think, nine stitches in my eye. Yeah. And that was a wake up call as well. Mm -hmm. Just showing me, like, yeah, corn, you focusing on that money so much, you're not even getting your proper rest <clears throat> to make the money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's just like one of the moments guys slow me down, like, no oh, man, what you do, man? We all take care of the body. Yeah. Take care of the body first. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The body got to be healthy in order for you to get the money. Yeah. And that's how I think my mind just got off money at that moment too. Mm. Just focus on, you know what I mean? What I love doing, which is right. But that also, I was seeing how committed I was. Tired mm. or not, they know every break I got, I was in the car sleep. Yeah. Every break. Yeah. But in these, at this time, 14 hour shoots a day. Yeah. I just did four shows back to back to back to back to back. Fact. You drinking. I'm drinking a little water, yeah. but I'm drinking more liquor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it was just one of them learning experiences, man. You know what I mean? I, I wear my scar proudly. Mm -hmm. Zoom in on that. Yeah, on his eye. Yeah. He got hit. He really got hit. Well, Mike Tyson. He ain't trying to tell him. Nah, it ain't Mike. It was that concrete. <laughs> it might have been that. It felt uh, like Mike it Tyson. It might have been that Rich Homer University sign, Day Day Lame Ass, man. man. <laughs> That's what I think it was, man. Day Day, where you at, man? <laughs> like, you lame ass, Day Day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you thought I forgot about the sign. I think I tripped up on the sign or something, man. But nah, man, it was it was definitely uh, it was a learning experience, man. I gotta I gotta balance my time out, get get the proper rest. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. And um, with you working with Bird, um, Birdman, you was able to work with Young Thug. Uh huh. How was how was that? Cause y'all created magic. Oh man, y'all created magic. It was man, it was, it was good for the culture, and I think like. That time, that was one of the first times that we ever seen like re like artists really yeah, come together for sure. and, and try to do something, especially out of Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, real talk. We ain't really see that. Yeah, like listen, that. Listen, bro, and I'm gonna take you back to first time in Thug in studio, man. First song we did, man. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, and the chemistry yeah, was there. I think we was at Dundee Studio, and FKI had a room. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's me up there, Pee Wee up, Pee Wee Long Way. Mm -hmm. Um. Done deals, spins. Uh, I think you might have had cash out in a different room at the time. And uh, like, bro, it was fun. Like, the chemistry we had from the first song was like, it was magic. And we never sent no songs through the email. So we making these songs organically in front of each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the booth. Like, you feel me? Right there, side by side. Like, now nah, say this. Now nah, you should say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a. Organic bun, man. You feel me? And another like fun time in my life, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel That's me? Experience. You yeah, experience. That's something you like. Yeah, for sure. That and you yeah. know, every type of way. You know what I mean? I don't got nothing bad to say about Thug, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying freedom boys. Most definitely. You feel me? Free anybody locked up on a Rico. Exactly. You know what I'm saying free Lucha too, man. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But it's more so like, you feel me? Me and bro had our time. Mm -hmm. You know, we did what we were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. He making his money, man. I'm making mine. Yeah. For sure. That. So. So so being around like you you like at that time you buzz yes. you hot being around all these rappers seeing all these people you probably watched growing up as a kid you know like what what was that moment you was like yeah I belong I, I belong here too like I'm here too like you know what I'm saying like I'm really with these folk like you know what I'm saying because I be thinking like that too yeah. like when I be doing shows with people like Mike Epps you know uh, D Ray or you know what I'm saying? Lavelle Crawford. The people you looked up yeah, to. You know, yeah, yeah. you know, those type of, you know, even meeting Kevin Hart the other day was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was in, it was inspiring like a fool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you start doing, sh like, doing shows or just being around or just being in that room, mm -hmm. 
Like what? What? Like you, like you like damn? What was that moment? Like damn? I don't really. My moment would have would have to have been some type of way. Might have been out for six months. Might have been three, three to six months. And we was doing birthday bash this year. Yeah. And I remember like it was yesterday, bro. I'm sitting at birthday bash. I got my back on the wall. Boy, Drake walked by. I was like, yo, yo, have you performed yet? I was like, nah, I ain't performing. He was like, bro, man, I was supposed to get on that some type of way, man. Wow. And when he said that, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, you know, I'm like, damn, boy, that boy Drake that came and hollered at me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely say, like, that was just. But I ain't show it then. You know what I mean? I, I played it cool. But after that, me stepping outside of my body and just like. Why that boy Drake just came, but yeah, he, like you ain't even go out your way. Drake came to you. That's okay. Like that's what I'm telling myself. Like, yeah, you played the player though. Yeah, that, yeah. That, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I think that moment right there was like, you might do belong in this game. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You might do belong here. You know, God. You know, and I just started thanking God, man. Hey, you, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah. Drake was the guy. Yeah. At, he just was he. Was he that, that that guy then, or we he was up? He was coming up too. Nah, Drake was that guy then. He was that guy. Drake then. was that dude then. Yeah, yeah. This like, it's got to be like thirteen or fourteen. Drake was that guy then. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I forgot what his song, but he was coming to close the show. Somebody was bringing him out. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, Drake was that guy then. Mm-hmm. No, this, this around the time when Drake had just got on the Versace song. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the Versace. Yeah. Versace. Yeah, 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 exactly. Nah. Ah, that that's what's up, man. Yeah. So and you know, um, you took some time off. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, what was the reason of you, you know, you taking time off, you know, to you know, what what, what was that <laughs> reason, man? Cause you know, a lot of people was like, Okay, what corn at? What what yeah. corn at? You know, we you know, what what was that? I would definitely say my time off wasn't intentionally. It was based on the litigation that I was talking about earlier that I filed with TIG. Mm-hmm. So the litigation, at that time, I can't drop any music because the lawyer, they're trying to get accounted, because I'm still trying to get paid for the songs we've already put out. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, it's like, at this time in my career, man, my mind is so shot. My mind is so, I wouldn't even say my mind, my heart is so crushed, man, because it's more so like, and I don't put out all these good songs and I ain't even got paid for it yet. Why should I even put out anything else yeah. if I ain't got paid for the shit I already put out? Exactly. You feel me? So now I'm like, I'm going back and forth with my mind. Like, damn, bro. Maybe this ain't for me no more. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it was like, I ain't gonna lie, it was a real dark, uh, dark, dark time in my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even like I say, because after I, after I got the money from uh, TIG, it ain't make me feel no better. Because mm. I felt like I had done waited all this time, I had done missed out. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm listening to other songs and yeah. I want to drop. I'm yeah. still recording though. Yeah. But I want to drop. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And, and it is like, what got me up out of that, man? Or uh, because I know that was that had to be a a, a place, bro. Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I used to hit Monte up like, yeah. yo, what my play? Corn, yeah. what corn? You like D D? We 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 get it together, D. We get sure. you know what I'm saying. For sure. Bunch of my dog, man. That's like big bro to me. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, big but, bro for sure, man. Yeah. Like big bro don't watch me grow, bro, since I was 13. Yeah. You feel me? Like I'm 32 now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 20 years, 19 years, bro. Yeah, so you you, you was off of about, about a year or two? Uh-huh. You, you you stopped for about a year or two? No, nah, I think it might have been. You probably almost, was doing music, but. Yeah, no, nah, but not yet. Yeah, but uh, we didn't put out no music. Yeah, it might have been a whole two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two or maybe been two and a half. Yeah, because the litigation went on for a minute. Like, I had not. I had never heard the word litigation. Mm. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it was. I just know uh, me and TIG had a court case. Mm-hmm. So, did, so did you ever, did you feel like, have you ever felt a moment like, I mean, it's over? It's over. For sure. Really? I definitely, yeah, I definitely. But, no, no, but I was in my mind. I was I was in my mind so much, bro. I was in like, I think our biggest, uh, our biggest threat be our mind. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was me and my mind, like. I think Monte posted something today about their mind. I can't remember what he's. You posted something about it, like yeah. the biggest thing, the biggest fight is in your mind. Because yeah, that's what it be. That's the only thing telling you can't do it. That's the only thing stopping you or hindering you. But like I said, it's my mind and the fact I can't drop because you got to thank my lawyer who has my best interest is telling me this. Mm. It's like I want to go against him, but we already in this situation for me not letting nobody read my paperwork. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let me listen to the you know the legal advice. 
And like I say, that shit was hard, bro. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. Even like I say, being in the studio every day, watching what's going on, watching watching the same people, you know, who we was in the studio with, and group sessions just take off. And ain't nothing I can say or do. Mm. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> me getting over that, bro, and finding back, gaining my confidence back, just came from, you know, me isolating myself, working extra, tremendously hard, and, you know, like holding myself accountable. Yeah. That was the biggest thing, holding myself accountable. So what was that moment to say, I, I had to get back to it um, after you done went through all that? The moment was I started back recording heavy, and I started, like, getting in the studio day for day, every day, and that's when I was like, okay, I'm starting to, you know, like it again. Mm -hmm. And this will be right before we signed the deal with Capital. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because me, me getting back in the studio recording a lot of songs and, not really talking about what I went through then, mm -hmm. but just still recording. Yeah. Got a, landed us a deal with Capital. Yeah. And I say, I started, you know, getting excited again once I signed the deal. Yeah. You feel me? Because no. I felt like, okay, I got another investor uh, behind me. Because at this time, I already got money. I'm, right. I'm loaded. I'm just trying to find my, I'm trying to find my love for music again. Yeah. I'm trying to put my heart back in. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm trying to love what I do again. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I would definitely say it was before, uh, we walked into the Capitol building and, you know, did the uh, agreement with them. Yeah. So do you feel like the game changed? Um, like, how, how you feel about the new rappers? A lot of these rappers that's on right now, they wasn't there when you started. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, 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 who, who's your top three or top fives right now that you feel like that's that's doing their thing and, you know, in, in the industry right now? Who, who, who who's doing their thing? Uh, we got to say Baby. Yeah. Uh, we got to say Dirt. Yeah. Uh... Uh, I would have said Gunner. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Free Gunner. Yeah. I would have said Gunner, of course. Uh, Y'all always got to say Future. Because Future Most just, definitely. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. He's definitely. Uh, yeah. Decades after decades. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, Drake, of course. No no, no mm -hmm. order. And that's what, that's what uh, without me being biased on myself. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I would definitely listen to them guys whenever they drop. And, like, it's a lot of them, though, like, Kevin Gates hard. So I don't really have favorites. This is, like, who I listen to. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, Kevin Gates, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, man. I'm a fan of just that raw music. I like that 808. And nothing against the, the, the I like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. It just be hard for me to get into it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love what they do. You feel me? Like, them concerts and stuff, that shit give me chills. For sure. But I like a raw 808 and a snare. Go crazy. I'm from Atlanta. More deaf. It's different. More deaf. You feel me? We, yeah. feel the, we feel the music in our bones before we hear it through our ears, so. Yeah. The 808 is what's get what got me loving music. Fact. That bass. Yeah. For sure. And you uh like I say, you back now. You back now. I would definitely say you uh you dropped the video, still shining. Sending. Still still sending. Yes. Still, still sending, sending, right? For sure. And you talked about lean now. Mm -hmm. Um you say I I can't put this lean cup down. Yeah, hard to give up. Hard to give up. So how you how said. you feel how you feel about that lean cup, man? You know, I, we it's a lot of rappers that you know we do. I ain't nothing against it. You know, yeah, for it, sure. it, it, it make people feel good. <laughs> make people do how they want to yeah. do it. You know what I'm saying? What does that do to you? Um, it's more like I don't know. It's a mellow thing, man. I don't know. It's not like nothing that I have to have. Um, it's just um, it's an it's an ingredient. That I use to help create this music that I create. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Like, I like to drink it, man. You feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I get on it, it ain't like you're going to know I'm on it. You feel me? Cause, because, like, I'm not trying to make it seem like it's something good to do because it's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fighting no demons. That ain't why I drink it. Man, that shit tastes good, bro. Mm -hmm. What it taste like? Man, it got different kind of depending on what you see. It tastes like Kool-Aid. That Kool -Aid. shit tastes good. Bro. It tastes like Kool-Aid. It's a little it's different because Kool-Aid ain't really having no flavor. <laughs> but It is, but it's watered down. But it's like, that shit good. Like, I drink it because I like the taste. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like have you ever taste. did any other type of uh, drug? Uh, we, I don't took, I I took some Molly before. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I took, I took a perk set one time. I was numb as a mom. Yeah, see, it, like. It took me up through there. Yeah, but like. Like this here. I took a perk. Nah, nah, like, you, you, you hear me? Like this here. Oh, uh, nah. The perk? Yeah. 
I'm in all night. I don't think that was no perk. Oh, no, nah, y'all, you are the perk. Well, I'm in the all Yeah, the perk. But well, like, I'm in the all night like this. Yeah, she, yeah you couldn't have had no mileage. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. It wasn't that. I made sure. It's the shit, boy. I made sure it was that. Oh, yeah. They just experience it. Yeah, but the perk said, like, I ain't like him. And I was like, damn, I first. ain't came yet. And she was like, you ain't came yet? <laughs> <laughs> She said, when you coming? I said, I don't know. Hey, see that how she listen, bro. See that how that Miley had me at the time. Like, I thought I was a porn star. Like, I'm talking, she talking back for hours. I'm yeah. like, ain't nobody in the world probably doing it long. <laughs> like, we just doing like entirely too long. Like, yeah. No. You feel me? But nah, but I ain't man, I probably ain't took no Miley in like six years, bro. You feel me? Like yeah. that just being honest and uh and you know, like I said, being, you know, holding myself accountable. Back. You feel me? Knowing like that shit started getting me out my mind. I felt like I was acting different when I'd be on that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like I say, with me getting old and these kids being able to see me, mm -hmm. you know, you just grow, man. You leave some shit where it's supposed to be. Fact. You feel me? But I would do that too. Like the link, I don't act no different. Like you wouldn't even know if I was, you wouldn't know. So, yeah. You feel me? I know it ain't, it ain't cool to do. I don't, you know. You just can't do too much of it. it, Yeah, you gotta make sure what you're drinking real, man. Got it. You feel me? Yeah. Like, make sure that shit is real, man. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't ever did it, so I don't. Yeah, don't. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just like. I won't. You know it, I won't. He said don't do it. I ain't going to do it. You know, we ain't <laughs> sipping no green. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it ain't supposed to be green. Hey, man. <laughs> don't kill the message. You know what I'm saying? We ain't sipping no green, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, uh, you know what I mean? That's my own, uh, that's my own problem that I have to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fix it. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of fixing, you mm-hmm. feel me? But like I said, I'm not broadcasting. I'm not encouraging it. You know what I mean? It helped me, you know what I mean, do what I do. Thanks. That's why I do it, you Thanks. feel me? Thanks. For recreational use only. I think Lil Wayne said somebody say, uh, you talking about the wing. Uh, yeah, the because cup. like. He like, like, man, look, I done made hits. Dude, I mean, with, the hit with, with the, the cup. With the cup. Why would I put the cup down? Oh, God. <laughs> you know? Like it just gets you, get you in that place. Yeah, but like, you know, it's, at some point, you got to start thinking about longevity of that cup and what else it's doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I be. That's how my mind think. And like I say, man, it, it keeps me in the creative space. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, so. Nah. Like I say, bro, you back. You coming back, bro. And Just trying to get my feet. I went, like, yeah, I'm back. I, but, but I see the comments. Like, how do you deal with comments? Uh, you know, you got people... They be like, oh man, he did. He fell off. Or yeah. you got people like, oh man, the old corn back. When you drop that video, they were like, oh, that the old corn that we wanted uh-huh. to hear. So how do you feel about? It? Do you ever feel like that you ever change your style for even to even say that, or you feel uh-huh. like I, I still been doing me? You know what I'm saying? How, how do you feel about comments, people saying different things, the media, the blogs, for and sure. all that? Like, how do you deal with that? Um, to be honest, bro, and this is my honest to God truth. I try not to even get into it, man. Yeah. Like, of course, like, I'm not going to lie. I love to put something up and see the number fire emojis. Or, like, you can attest to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one thing, like, when we uh, I get in the studio or you get behind when you're doing your camera in your creative zone. Mm-hmm. And when I'm doing it, if ain't nobody saw it, it's hard for me to, like, get my rocks off. When I say get my rocks off, for me to, like, congratulate myself until mm-hmm. when I start seeing people be receptive of it. Yeah. Like, when they start, oh, boy, that shit was hard. I'm yeah. Like, Okay. Yeah, it might be good, and, and, and that and that boost up my confidence. But to the bad comments, I don't really let them get to me. If I see one bad comment, man, I ain't on that. It's, he don't know me, or he probably just ain't understand. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like the internet has given everyone a voice. Yeah, every vo- every voice don't got to be paid attention to for one. Fact. And I ain't let no voice knock me off my pivot. Fact. You know what I'm saying? I love to see the love. I love to see the hate too, because I know it's working. Yeah, you feel me? So mm-hmm. if I got five thousand comments. You got to know in your mind before you go read comments, all 5,000 ain't going to be make you smile. Exactly. So I'm going into my comments with that conscience. Most definitely. You feel me? So I ain't letting that affect me or break me because I knew who I was before I even put this out for you to comment on it. Most definitely. You feel me? But you can't lie, though. You can't. It could be it could be four thousand and ninety nine positive one. comments, yeah. but you're going to see that one because I see it. Yeah. And, you, and like, you're going to see that one that said, who looked at my story today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them bots. <laughs> Who let it? I bet you didn't view my story today. <laughs> you want to see a big bubble butt? You be like, and look, <laughs> that's how they losing they pay too. They nah, clicking right. them up. Yeah. You see a nigga nah, with a yeah, new yeah, pay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, done yeah, clicked yeah, that yeah, link yeah, that yeah, said, I bet you didn't see my story today. <laughs> yeah. Going on, on. <laughs> Catch your man elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, if you see Monte with a new pay, you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know he a granddaddy too, man. <laughs> 
Now my boy really young. It just, you know the gray hair making man, look Man, Monte granddaddy, man. Don't let the man fool you. Right. I saw him at the house trying to fix the car. <laughs> man, oh, now he got your man. shit clean though. Yeah, he got it clean, but all but on um, her. Man, oh, man like damn, D, you got now. But guess what? That was so crazy. <laughs> the man been doing that shit since like high school. Now nah, he hard. He yeah, hard. Man. Probably before then. Yeah. Like, that's what got my SS right, man. 84 SS, my boy Monte. The real sure. deal. If you ever in Atlanta, Georgia, you need your car painted, fixed up, interior, outside, rims, all that, that good stuff. Holly my dog, Monte. I told him I'm going to do my next one, man. I told him he's going to do the 442 for me. Yeah, yeah, You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Got to go. Yeah. Yeah, he go. told me you got no wheels over there, too. We got a little shame, man. He got told me you got no wood. I said, I got to come over there and play like in that you Madden, got, too. For sure. I told you that. You said man. 2K, though. 2K. We can do Madden 2K. We don't matter. Like, I'm comp- I'm competitive, bro. Yeah, so yeah. it don't matter. I'm not trying to lose. I play Madden Monte last time. I don't yeah, <laughs> reason he don't play no more. <laughs> oh, I don't reason he don't even play yeah, no more. Yeah, tell me that. Oh, yeah, but nah, man. Come on, man. Come over there. But now nah, you got to think that the loving car, that's in Atlanta. That's what we do. Exactly. Like the car you got, that's Atlanta classic. Yeah, more, more more Come on, man. More death. More death. You feel me? I definitely want a meal like the 85 or the 86 or that money car though. Yeah, 84. Yeah. 84, yeah. yeah. Them the years, ain't it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm finna go. Listen, I can't even tell you. You're going to see it when it come. No cap. Nigga had done tried to charge me 60. Much like, man, you might. What, nigga? 60 for this? What? Stop. Yeah. I can go buy it, but I nah, fat man. And you um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, then move forward, man. We about to you know wrap it up, man. But uh, but either you about to go on tour, with baby, or y'all about to do a concert or something together? Is, is that some or, or, or is that fake news? I don't know. Do we got more show, baby? We, I don't it's know. in we the works. Yeah, yeah, we, I, just, I we just so. did one, baby. Um, yeah, it was we just did one. Just did what one, was in? It might be just Belushi. did one. Oh, but Lusty Mississippi at the Coliseum. Okay. Yeah, and that shit was turnt, man. Yeah. You feel me? Like, even because they, like, my team know, like, after I thought perform and stuff, like, I'd be ready to go. Fact. But this uh, particular night, like, we stayed. I watched the performances. Like, that shit was motivational. Like, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Bro, having, like, that big ass set and shit. Like, mm-hmm. That shit hard. Nah, that's what's up. That sick. shit hard. Fire and flame. Like, girls, then he got, like, real, like. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. He probably can do stunt. Bro probably can come down in the stream, they gonna do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> bro can come down on the stream, they gonna do it. Yeah. So that's just hard, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, bro stand out about an hour too. So that's that's, crazy. That, that's dope as hell. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. Hey man, like I said, bro. I appreciate you, big dog. Man, I appreciate you, Dad. You know what I'm saying? I know you got some stuff in store. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Albums and yes. all that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I said, I'll say you back. That old, like they say, the old corn is back. It, it, it ain't even the old corn. It's just you being outside. For sure, that it's I was just, just you saying being back in that loop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just what it is. For sure, that you know what I'm saying? Because your fans, your day one fans, gonna forever be there no matter what. And and I see that they for sure. there for sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, get back out here. Right I be too. telling, I be telling Monte, man, tell that nigga, goddamn, start doing this, shit, goddamn, look, just start doing different shit. You look, know what I'm saying? Just banning light shit, just right. let nigga see your life, man. We back all the way yeah. outside, man. Uh, we got this tape dropping. I would say not in tape. I would just say uh, collect, uh, music dropping this month. Yeah. Um, we got the now. Finally got a name, and I want to give you that bomb. It's the first place I've told the name of it gonna be. Ooh, uh, first place. Yes, yeah, first place. Got it. You know some Atlanta shit. Uh, yeah. We're going to name it Family and Moolah. Family and Moolah. You feel me? Because like, if you look back at it, the whole conversation, is just it's about them boys yeah. and that paper. That paper. You know what I'm saying? Get it's that about paper. them boys and that paper, Get man. that paper. So we naming it uh, Family and Moolah. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. My transition to me getting older. Yeah. And I kept that Atlanta sound. Like I say, like I don't have the same stories I, I would have on the King Judge. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They're more evolved. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I ain't messing with strippers no more. You feel me? Like my not, mind has grown. Yeah, yeah. not, not that tall. Man, you, you tell, not that tall. You tell me, it, think, yeah, that big that big boot is sitting up there. She, she look good. I'm talking about looking real good. She eyeing you down. She done got a hair done. Her edges look good. It ain't going to happen. Her boot and tit is real. They, they real. They ain't even the one that you go to Miami and get. These are real. You can see smell good. Smell like strawberries. And mm. she looking at you like, boy, I want you. Come here. I don't, you ain't got to give me a dime. Just come tear this shit up. Mm. You ain't doing nothing. I'm going to sit my little boy on or eat, a, <laughs> or eat a my little brother, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. I've grown out of that. Nah, that's right. You feel me? It's all my life. If I'm still on that, that means I don't wasted 10 years of my life. Right. I ain't right. trying to live in the past. That's right. You feel me? Nah. That's what it is. Another great episode, man. My dog, 
Atlanta OG <laughs> for the youngsters. Yeah, right, too. <laughs> man, my dog, Rich Homer Quan, man, I appreciate you so much, man, for stopping by my podcast. How it goes down podcast with that boy A. Pile and that boy Dizzy Banks, man. Hey, we appreciate y'all. Y'all know what's going on. Rich Homer, baby. Yeah.